Howdy folks, this morning's uh, soaps from Wild West Shaving. It is Private Reserve number two. And the scent, if I can read it here, is uh, it says rose, black carrot, uh, lime, sandalwood, and cedarwood. And that's what it looks like there on the inside. It's a fairly firm soap there. <coughs> Excuse me. Allen block complete with rubber band. <laughs> There's Witch Hazel with aloe. Decided to, uh, he's got a solid cologne that follows up with this, but I decided I uh, got this new and haven't tried it just yet. This is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. This is Lime Ice Sage. In other words, it's methylated. Decided I want to give it a try. I have it whipped up here with a uh, uh, horsehair brush. And I did get it on the wet side this morning. But I've got more than enough lather in here to make two shaves. The shaver of the day is called a, <coughs> excuse me, Vanta Shavette. It's got a, uh, a full feather blade in it. And this is what the shaver looks like. There's the inside of the scales there. This part right through here, the, I guess you might call it the shank, is uh, it's fairly thin. That's what that one side looks like, and there's the other side. So in other words, this is just a sliding mechanism that slides over the top of the blade. This will take a DE blade has been snapped in half also. But if uh, you like using uh, DE blades and you're shaving with a DE and you can put a full one in there and don't have to worry yourself about snapping it in half. And let's see here. Yes. Still using the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, beard oil there. <clears throat> also the uh, you're going to use uh, <laughs> going to use the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, ice it's scentless but it is methylated go ahead and get started with that i've already put a hot towel to the face this morning around here the topic besides the olympics topic of discussion has been uh the weather when we go from freezing rain to rain and been quite interesting with the weather around here. This Banta Shavette I have had for for a little while. In other words, if I remember correctly, I bought it early part of 2016. And uh, bought it from Gifts and Care where I found it at. I think at that point in time it was around the $15 mark. I think now it's maybe closer to the 16 if I remember right. The one thing that I thought was very unique about it, and uh, in my opinion makes it very easy to use, is the fact that the, um, <clears throat> the toe and the heel of the blade is covered. And when with that taking place, it does make some of the take the some of the air, I guess you might say, out of the technique because there's your toe and heel there. Of course, on both sides it is covered, and with it being covered up like that, it does make it a little bit easier, especially for somebody that's new uh, using a shavette to get used to get to used to using one. It is a little bit different because, like I said, I was showing on the, it is thin. So that portion right there is something that uh, might take some to get a little used to. So it smells great. Please, uh, I smell more of this this time 
than I did last time I'm using it. You notice it's working a lot better today, which is odd considering the way the weather's been. <laughs> Here we go with pass one. One thing I probably should mention, yeah, I probably should. The um, go ahead and show that before I forget because I think it's worth mentioning. Um, the Shavette in the center it has those two posts right there. There we go, and it, uh, it does stop it, but it doesn't stop it before the end of it comes out through the bottom there. And if you got a blade in it, you want to be very careful. Because you'll end up cutting yourself. If there's ever a complaint about this particular shaver, it's that. Outside of that, I really like this shaver. Like I said, it is very easy to use. The um, sliding mechanism is easy to slide right back on there. Even if, uh, like this uh, feather, they use like a little bit of wax, you know, for their paper on the blade. It slides right over the top of that without a problem. Which that you know, makes it pretty nice if you're in a hurry, you just need to pop the blade in there. You don't have to try to fuss with getting that wax off there so that everything comes back together all right. Because, uh, like the Focus uh, Dynamic, or even the focus slim. I know that wax comes up sometimes. In other words, with the sliding mechanism, slides over top of the blade. That wax is uh, can be a little bit uh, difficult to deal with. Looks like I may have a weeper this morning already. Usually I don't get that until the uh, end of the shaving. Usually, you know, <laughs> down there on my neck. <laughs> but I've got one right there, just a small one. I've had, with a different feather blade, but I've had two other shaves. This will be a third shave with a feather blade and hadn't had any issues with it. Man, this, this soap smells really nice. For me, I figure it's a, it's a good day when my nose is working. I can smell the soap. It's not always the case. I smell it while I'm whipping it up. And sometimes when I've got it on my face, I really don't notice it. Well, hopefully that doesn't get too terribly bad. Have one up there on my cheeks, a little unusual. Saw Douglas had rolled out a, I think two more soaps. It's been kind of hard to keep up with it. Who's coming out with a new soap? Because I know. People are coming out with some. Yeah, 
if you're wondering when it comes to social media and how much time a person spends on that I usually <clears throat> set, set aside time certain times of a day and then when time's up, time's up It's kind of like lunch at work. <laughs> Got a certain amount of time I lot for it, and then that's what I do. Otherwise, it eats up a lot of time of your day. Yep, there it is right there. I haven't had one up there in quite a while. It's been a while. Wonder if it's more of a, something else that was like a little bump or something that I end up removing. All in all, still a pretty smooth shave. Yeah, I don't know if that'll stick around much longer after the Allen block gets a hold of it. I did notice that uh, earlier this week when I was checking uh, Douglas's website, he still got some aftershaves for sale. Been marked down. Spring Hill Jack was one that I noticed was still available. He hadn't sold out of it yet. I used that uh, aftershave earlier this week, and uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, if you like that kind of scent, which I do. Is pretty nice. I like it. Doesn't look like it's going to be too bad on the weepers. Well, that one right there. Alright, see if we can't get it taken care of here. Sometimes I notice when I get a weeper, it'll come back around, come back out with the uh, with the aftershave if I get it to stop. I slowed down quite a bit right there. So one thing I always work for, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not necessarily, in other words, the uh, uh, a BBS shave. I just want smooth and comfortable, and usually smooth and comfortable. Comfortable is fairly close. A socially acceptable shave. <laughs> I get a spit out there. Got some aloe here. I wonder if I 
did just take off a little bump right there. In other words, it's not necessarily a weeper. One down on my neck has already been, it's already stopped. Go ahead and follow up with the uh, aftershave here. I was, uh, went ahead and opened it up just to smell it straight from the container. Not quite used to sage. I think I'm, thought I might like it, wasn't real sure. <clears throat> At least per my nose. I don't know that I noticed the, uh, waiting for it to dry down a little bit. I don't know that I noticed the lime as much, which is what I was expecting. It's there, but I, I, I definitely, I can tell the sage is there. This is good stuff. If I remember right, this is one of the ones that he wasn't going to make anymore. So I'm glad I went ahead and decided to get some. Menthol, I can feel it working on my face. I like that cooling effect. Really nice. <clears throat> Wild West shaving. Private reserve number two. Like I said, I still got plenty of lather there. This was all whipped up with a horsehair brush. I have uh, about three with this kind of handle. Uh, brown, dark brown, different kind of colors of horsehair. Whip up a lather without a problem. Pretty nice. Once again, there's the Wild West shaving. Had a great shave this morning. Go ahead and... <clears throat> this is upside down. It works better for me sometimes to do it like this when I'm trying to show it on a camera. It just slides right off. So you can see the whole blade right there. And just pops right out of there. That is a very snug fit for those two posts right there. When you put your blade in there, that is a very snug fit. Um, no wiggle room. <laughs> it does not wiggle at all. Very tight tolerance right there. Very nice. If you're interested in getting one of these, um, I'll put a link down below. Uh, it's a pretty nice shaver for the money. Somebody starting out, like I say, you don't have to worry about the uh, toe or the heel because it's covered up. It's relatively easy to wipe off to keep clean. As well as uh, this mechanism right here, you can just slide a piece of tissue or even a thin cloth right, right down inside there. And uh, it just slides right back on there. Nothing to it. It's a pretty nice shaver. I like it. I enjoy using it from time to time. Had a great shave. Still trying to bleed a little bit. <laughs> Everybody stay safe and smooth shaves to you.